I'm your host, Jessica Flynn of thejessicaflynn.com. And our show is on a mission to unleash local wisdom for widespread impact. We are committed to inspiring positive change and empowerment in our small community and beyond. I am really excited today to have a conversation with someone who is passionate about empowering us to elevate our nutrition, our health and mindset so that we can feel good about ourselves, feel confident in our own skin and connected to our bodies. Mm -hmm. Leah Van Dolder is a great friend of mine. She's an award-winning registered dietitian and mindset coach with over 15 years experience, specializing in women's weight loss, wellness, and habit change. Known for her no BS practical approach, I can attest to this and I love her style, to living a healthy and balanced lifestyle. Her thing is helping you rewire your internal dialogue so you can take consistent action and be the healthiest, most energetic and powerful version of yourself. No big deal. Leah is the creator of the Reclaim Coaching Program and host of the five-star rated Reclaim podcast found on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and iHeartRadio. Without further ado, let's welcome Leah Van Dolder to the set. Oh, Jess, I need to come in here every day to get that <laughs> hype, right? like every single morning. Well, thank you so much for having me. Oh, really, thank you for really coming. I've worked oh. with you, Leah, as I've received your coaching. Uh, we've worked on projects together, and I'm so excited to use this as an opportunity to share with everyone else how amazing you are and how incredible uh, of an impact your work really makes for people. Thank you. So Thank you. you've been doing this work for 15 plus years. Yes. What originally drew you into the nutrition and wellness space? Oh, it's so funny because uh, 15 years ago, I really had no idea what I wanted to do. I knew that I wanted to be in healthcare in some capacity. And I really, I knew that I was like, I can't, I can't do nursing. That's not my thing. Yeah. And I really loved the preventative approach instead of the, you know, reactive, reactive approach. approach. Yep. Thank you. And when I was in school, what I found myself really drawn to was human behavior classes. I really mm. loved physiology. I took some nutrition classes and what I really enjoyed was how all of those connected. So how your nutrition not only had an impact on your physical health, but also your emotional health, your mental health, your performance, and how our behaviors and the way that we think, of course, the way that we think and act around food, it plays a big role in how we feel and how we show up mm -hmm. and how we carry ourselves throughout yeah. the day. Yeah. So I was really pulled to that and it just kept on snowballing from there. <laughs> Cool, yeah. cool. So you've had started with like this kind of academic interest, how does it all connect? Yeah. And then you went and got registered and, and have been practicing since. Yes. Cool. Yeah. So you're the first um, kind of mindset coach when it comes to food and health that I've worked with. What does it typically look like for someone to work with a dietitian or a nutritionist? What what's that pathway? Yeah. How do they get connected with someone? Yeah, well, I mean, I'll, I'll talk about the pathway of, of working with yeah. me, but you can self-refer. Yeah. So I get so many questions It's uh, from women that are saying, well, do I need a doctor referral to come work with you? I'm like, no, you can just send me a message on Instagram or call me up or hit me up on, uh, on my website. So you can be your own referral. Right, so be an advocate for your own health and, and just find someone that you think will be. Yeah. What I really was drawn to was your, your no BS yes. um, style and approach to this and, and, and actually how you make it quite easy and fun. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Yeah, yeah. because everybody has their own approach, right? And I'm not for everybody and I'm okay with that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody just is drawn to their own style uh, of person the personality makes a difference, uh, but in terms of nutrition, like you said, I'm very no BS. It's simple, there's uncomplicating nutrition. Mm -hmm. uh, and with my approach, I really look at the big picture. We not only look at your nutrition and what you're eating on a regular basis and timing and all that stuff, but also your schedule. What's going on within your day-to-day -day life? What makes it hard to eat well without any judgment too? Yeah. So there's a lot of like I do a lot of curious digging and just really understanding what makes healthy eating, prioritizing 
nourishment and fitness challenging mm -hmm. in your day-to-day -day life and that could be so many things it could be timing it could be you know feeling overwhelmed it could be confusion about where to start what to eat what things to what foods to combine what snacks to have how yeah. to manage yourself in social situations or mm. out at a restaurant or around food pushers <laughs> in your family or when you're on vacation so in my mind this is a it's a way of living it's not yeah. just this oh, okay cool i'm gonna get healthy and focus on this for three months mm -hmm. it's very much looking at those steady sustainable transformations mm -hmm. that you can make in your life without it feeling like a diet yeah without it feeling overwhelming and actually aligns with where you want to go, how you want to feel, and the person that you want to be or become. This is interesting, the word diet. So I used to be a teacher in a past life in a classroom, I'm yeah. still an educator now, but students would do projects on different species. And there'd yeah. be a category of diet. And, and, and the term is what this species eats in order to survive and to thrive and to get the yeah. energy that we need. Whereas our culture has turned that word diet into, instead of like this long-term mm. lifestyle choice, more of a quick fix, yeah. a uh, making a bunch of sacrifices or doing shakes or, and yeah. like that's not really part of a long-term solution. Yeah, there's a time frame on yes. a diet, right? There's a finish line yeah. with a diet, but with a lifestyle, there's no finish line. Yeah. There is no finish so line. So the title of this episode is Reclaim Your Healthy Life. Yeah. So when do you find clients are really ready? Like when would a viewer watching this at home know that they're ready to make a lifestyle change, to reclaim their healthy mm -hmm. life? Because it's there for all of us to have, right? It's all yeah. choices, but it's such a personal and mental uh that's the work is to yeah. really commit so when do people come to you when they're actually ready oh a couple of a couple of different spots okay. so i like to call it the internal whisper or that scream okay so women that come to me that are experiencing that internal whisper it's almost like their body is giving them those little hints of like hey we're not feeling so great maybe feeling um fatigued struggling with the energy starting to feel a little bit uncomfortable uh, in their body and almost this internal knowing that they could be doing better mm -hmm. with nutrition, fitness, and it's, they're just starting to feel, they feel okay. They feel like neutral in their right. body. And when they come to me, they're like, they actually use that wording. Uh, and I'm remembering a woman that I was standing to long, not long ago. She's like, it's not like I'm in terrible health, right? Yeah. She said, I feel neutral in my body, but I want to feel amazing in my body. So that's, that's the yes. first person, like it's a little whisper. And then the second is more like your body is like full on screaming, like we need some help here yeah. where women are experiencing some changes within their health and maybe having a hard time just, just pulling their figuring it all together yeah, like how do all their stuff There's, together it's gotten so overwhelming yeah where do i start how do i yeah. do this yeah. yeah when do i layer stuff in here they're basically like tell me what to do yes <laughs> and, I yeah. and i shall do it and i shall do it and make it simple and right. easy to follow yeah that's yeah. great that's yeah. really really cool and it's so nice to have someone of your caliber and your skill set mm -hmm. i know a lot of the work you do can be done virtually and often yeah. is done virtually too yeah. but we're so fortunate to have you here in yeah. our community um, and before we go to break I'm wondering if you can tell us a little bit about so in the intro we talked about how through paying attention to your nutrition and putting yourself back on that priority list and that pedestal yeah. your performance mm -hmm. increases talk to us about what that means by performance yeah performance when a lot of us hear performance we think oh well athletic performance exactly yeah and it doesn't it doesn't have to mean that it can it totally falls under performance but performance is really what do you want your body to do for you that day yeah. how do you want your body to carry you through and do mm. the things that you want to do mm -hmm. find fulfillment in so performance could literally be going out for a 20 minute walk with your dogs mm -hmm. in the morning performance could be you know getting through your work day 
having stable energy and having that creative capacity and that mental capacity to really be present within your work. Performance could be running your first 5K race. It could be anything, right. but it's how you want. Comfortably playing with your kids on the floor exactly. or chasing after them at the beach. Exactly. Right? How it's you perform in your day-to-day -day life. And I think, again, yeah. talking about culture and what we're learning and I think empowering ourselves to take back some of this vocabulary mm -hmm. is diet is what fuels us for a lifetime, Bingo. a healthy lifetime. And performance is not just limited to elite level athletes. Correct. We all need to perform for ourselves, yes. for our work, for our families. So the work that you are doing, mm -hmm. I think I used to put dietitian and nutrition in, in one category, but through working with you, got so excited about the world that opens up when you truly find your health and reclaim your health. Yes. Yeah, very exciting. Yeah, big impact. So you offer well, you offer a program that we're going to talk about a, a little bit after the break. Can you talk to us a little bit about your podcast? We have a five star podcast, Spotify, <laughs> Apple uh, Podcast, and iHeartRadio. Tell us yeah. a little bit about how that started. Yeah, so the Reclaim podcast started just over a year ago. I just celebrated the one year birthday last month. And it was just thank you. Yeah, it was something that I started. I I just wanted to have a space to be able to talk a little bit more because my problem was, okay, on Instagram, I only have say 20 seconds to a minute to get a point across, but I felt that was not. And that's if people <laughs> stick around that's for right. the 20 seconds, right? <laughs> that's right. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, I gotta do a different way here. Plus I've got a, the gift of gab. So I started a podcast and I've been having a lot of fun with it every single week. I pump out a new episode and just bigger conversations, but also allows the space and the time for deeper yeah. conversations. So anything around nutrition, mindset, lifestyle, personal growth, a lot of, of stuff. And I love bringing guests on. So there's yeah. a whole slew, I yeah. guess, in there too. What I love about entrepreneurs, people who follow their passions to make a living like you have done, is that not only are you helping your clients receive that personal growth, but you are here receiving that personal growth and then mm -hmm. sharing all of your newfound wisdom and learnings with us in your community. Yeah. So after the break, we are going to continue our conversation with Leah, learn a little bit more about her Reclaim program and talk about some of the in-person events that Leah has produced and plans on launching in the future. So stay tuned to Empowered with your host, Jessica Flynn. <laughs> Welcome back to Empowered. I'm your host, Jessica Flynn of thejessicaflynn.com. And today we are chatting with my good friend, Leah Van Dolder. And we are talking all about reclaiming our healthy life and building a beautiful, healthy lifestyle. So Leah has built, you've built this incredible program um, that is so comprehensive and has your no BS flair to it, which means it's really easy to understand. I know as a past client of yours, I got really wrapped up in like macro this and mm -hmm. uh, it was just too much. I have three businesses, two kids, there's a lot going on to manage, mm -hmm. but still knowing I needed to prioritize my health. So you, can you take us through what your program looks and feels like, how it's different, what, you're, what you mm -hmm. love about it? 
Yeah, well, the feel of the program is very encouraging. It's all about balance, right? Like you can absolutely have ice cream with your kids or have french fries at the beach and still live a healthy and active lifestyle. And it is very empowering. Mm -hmm. And it's not about you know, eating less and restricting. It's much more around abundance and you know, fuel and fulfillment. So that's the feel mm. of it. The that's very powerful. That's a very yeah. different feeling and way of organizing an experience like this for your community mm -hmm. than probably what a lot of your clients have been used to yeah. in their past. Oh yeah, it's a total yeah. 180. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, what do you mean? We're not tracking every single calorie that goes <laughs> in my mouth. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, no. So the that that's that's the feel. Mm -hmm. And within the program, so there's three components within the program. So I've got a coaching component, I have a curriculum component, and then a community component. And the coaching, I call it the cake of the program. <laughs> and that's all the stuff that you know my clients and I do one-to-one uh, -one and right off the hop with when anybody comes into the program, we roadmap out the goals that that person wants to achieve. Mm -hmm. So there's some clarity around the goals and not just clarity and structure, but also where we're going to start because that can be really overwhelming in itself. So yeah. I'm kind of like the, I'm here to see the blind spots within people's lives. Yes. It's like, and what you, you know? do as well is rather than setting a goal and saying, great, let's, let's go that way. We do this in business with yeah. our clients is the seven layers of why why is that your goal? And it's not to critique or say that's the wrong goal, but once you ask yourself, have you done the seven layers of why? I think we, no. we did that. Well, um, a little bit of a it, little bit. yeah. So I want to um, have more energy to play with my kids, or yeah. maybe it's I want to be a certain weight. Well, why? Because I'm uncomfortable in my clothes. Well, right. why? Because I want to do more um, healthy, active, active things. Why? Because yeah. I want to be with my kids. And at the, the seventh layer of why gives you your true goal mm -hmm. and reason for continuing. So yeah. yeah, you can use that with your, add that to your program. I will. I will. <laughs> you can claim that I one. will. It's well, not I, mine. I didn't make it up. But it's so effective. Yeah. And I think what you do really well is um, you don't take things for surface level. You do that yeah. digging. You are yeah. kind of an archaeologist. Yes. And you, that started when you were studying and choosing to do that. Yeah. So you really bring that uniqueness to yeah. how you serve your clients. Thank you. And I'm really yeah. glad that you said that because not everybody is at the place where they're like, okay, let's like do a little bit of deeping so, or digging deeper. Yeah. So there's some investigative work. And with this, with any change that you're looking to make, it requires you to look at yourself get a little vulnerable, get a little vulnerable. Mm -hmm. and but that's what it that's what it takes yeah. and the outcomes are amazing yes. from it yeah so yeah there's some digging deeper getting a little bit vulnerable yeah. and being okay with kind of looking at yourself in the mirror and uh, answering the okay why 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 do I put off nutrition or why am I procrastinating my exercise? What is even going on there? What's going yeah. on in your mind? What's the internal chit chat like? What's the block mm -hmm. from making those intentions executed throughout your day? And so you've got a beautiful um, approach to how you do social media too. You give a lot of this out there for oh, yeah. the community. <laughs> and you really, cause you're, you're wanting to empower a community to live a healthier lifestyle. So we see a lot of the different types of wins that your clients get. Can you tell us about some of even the surprises that you've seen when you help someone with their mm -hmm. nutrition or their diet? How is that related uh, in a surprising way to other parts of their life? Yeah, so one that I'm thinking of, well, the first unexpected win this woman said, she's like, the biggest thing that I took away from this is that you've taught me how to never give up. Mm -hmm. She said the old me would have just toss in the towel when things got too hard or when you know life threw me a curveball. She said, you've really helped me navigate through life's circumstances, those wrenches, and come out on the other side feeling proud, feeling accomplished, mm. and just learning how to manage that. Right, that resilience and internal strength. Yeah, the resilience, the internal strength, and that is a skill that you can apply to every other area in your life. As yeah. 
not just with nutrition. You can apply yeah. that in work situations. Mm -hmm. You can apply that in boundaries and boundaries. discipline. Yeah. All of that stuff. Yeah. So that what that's a big one that yeah. a lot of women experience. Um, you know, energy, unbelievable energy, but not just in the that physical form of energy. Women are saying things like, I have so much more creative mm. energy that I can apply to work. Yes, again, we think often nutrition, performance, our bodies, yeah. but we need fuel up here and Big water. <laughs> and, <laughs> and water, yes. yeah. yeah, and yeah. water. So creative energy, towards business and you know developing programs or yeah. developing TV shows or so whatever it is. Speaking of creative energy and business, I had the absolute honor of working with you for one of your first in-person events and yeah, you ran yeah an epic Women in Business Summit and it was the wealth in wellness mm -hmm. and building wealth from a place of health, reclaiming your healthy yeah. life. So can you tell us a little bit about the inspiration behind that event and yeah. how it went? Yeah, well, being very candid with you, the yeah. inspiration literally just fell from the sky. I said, I have this idea that I would really love to put together an event for women and I said, okay, I gotta, I gotta do this. Yeah. So I didn't know what it was going to look like, uh, but I also took that as a personal challenge. Mm. To me, there's something very um, exciting about doing something new and trying something new and building that character mm -hmm. within me. So that was really the, <laughs> Yeah, it came yeah, out of thin air. I love that. Yeah, <laughs> and the the event was beautiful. Yeah. It was um, yeah, it was everything. It was that I kind of the, everything you've explained in your recoaching or reclaim program. Yeah, the coaching, the community, and the curriculum. Yeah. It was all present, and yeah. the energy in that room was so supportive. And you had people on the stage interacting with the folks around the tables, <laughs> yeah. and it was very, very community and focused and empowering. And you have yeah. another event coming up now. I do. So tell us about that one. Yeah, another idea that just came to me. It's called Rebel, and it's a half-day event full of adventure, good food, and deeper connection. So that's going to be happening here in Collingwood at the end of this month in wow. July. And yeah, I mean, I love connecting with people and hearing mm -hmm. what's really going on beneath the surface. And I know because people have shared with me, they really miss that sense of play within their life. They miss that sense of adventure. They miss deeper connection. People might not know th about this about you, but yeah. you are a bit of an acrobat. I am. Yeah. <laughs> And it's and another really cool part of following you on social media is watching you perform in these silks. Yeah. And is this kind of a little bit a part of this event? It's a big part of this event. Yeah. Yeah. So the Collingwood uh, Circus Company, I've been a student there for the last three years, but also perform in some shows, which is a total blast. Cool. But yeah. So the aerial silks are bringing that in and helping women defy gravity for a little bit. It's just the best. And where are your best and you don't sports need to bra? know anything yeah. about it. No, nope. you can be a total rookie. No, nope. yeah. totally new. Just go have fun cool. and allow yourself to play around. Amazing, a bit. amazing. Yeah. Okay, we've got just a few minutes left. Yeah. These episodes just fly by. We have so much more knowledge know, to get from you. But uh, we know how we can find you and how to do that. But can you give us a few? You know, we've got viewers from all over. You do such custom stuff. But mm -hmm. what are some of those common? tips and tricks that you can give our audience for both nutrition mm. and then on the mindset piece. Yes, well we'll start with nutrition. I think one big one that's been coming up a lot recently is the prep. The planning and the prep mm. around nutrition. A lot of a lot of the times we think about nutrition when it's too late. Yes. We're starving, we're tired, we're like, great, the last thing that I want to do at five o'clock is figure out what I'm going to do for dinner. Yeah. So planning ahead of time and having some things prepped can save you so much stress. Yeah. And we schedule so many other parts of our day. Yeah. Like, let's schedule cutting up the vegetables yes. or cooking up some protein. Yeah, or yeah. putting your workout on your calendar too. Yeah. It right. is, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's an appointment with yourself. So yeah. instead of thinking about nutrition as the last thing or you pushing it to the back burner, same with fitness, mm -hmm. 
they're a necessity. Mm -hmm. You know, nutrition is a necessity. You need food and water to live. Right. <laughs> and like to perform this, well. Think of a species on a kid's yeah. project. Like, what is your diet yeah, that you, you need? need? Food. Yes, and, yeah. and water. Yeah, you need food. Yeah. So, and simple prep. I mean, I am very... I don't like to cook. I'm a dietitian who is very happy to say I, love that I don't about you. like to cook. Yes. I will literally do anything else with my time. I love being outside and just doing whatever. So food prep to me is 20 minutes of hands-on time and you're out of the kitchen. So yeah. cut up a head of broccoli, throw some chicken breasts on the barbecue, cut up that pineapple that's been sitting on your counter <laughs> and you're like, oh yeah, I guess I'll like, it's, it's amazing too much how time. well you know us all. Like, oh, yeah. I know. <laughs> we all have I a know. pineapple on the counter. I know. I'm in your head, right? Yes. So, so those are some things around nutrition mm -hmm. is thinking about it ahead of time. It doesn't have to be this big scary task where you're sitting down with a spreadsheet and like planning out every single meal. Mm -hmm. That's not what meal planning prep yeah. is. It could literally be making a decision about what you're going to eat, say three hours in advance yeah. or taking some time to do a little bit of partial prep, right. I call it. And then what would your top one or two points be around the mindset? Uh, for mindset, I've been having the conversation a lot around what you focus on grows. So mm. a lot of us are so hard on ourselves especially high achieving women, mm -hmm. you know, A-type personalities. So what you focus on grows, meaning that if you are only stewing over the one thing that you did not accomplish in the day, mm -hmm. then you are going to feel more frustrated, defeated. You're gonna feel down on yourself versus switching to focus on a positive, focusing yeah. on the progress rather than the, you know, failed perfection yeah. of the day. Taking some time to pause and look back instead yeah. of always looking at the mountain that you exactly. still have to climb, right? Exactly. Appreciate Incredible. where you're at on the way to where you're yes. going. Beautiful. Well, thank you so much, you're Leah, welcome. for joining us this afternoon. Uh, we have so much great content here in this episode from Leah Van Dolder, registered dietitian and mindset coach. So be sure to follow her on Instagram and check out her podcast, Reclaim. I am your host, Jessica Flynn. This is Empowered. We are here unleashing local wisdom for widespread impact, and we'll see you next time.